let me show you. We will connect the flex lamps on the front panel. Here, the other part, we, we will connect this for partial current testing. There are three cables for each phase and we are interested in partial results. Let us connect. Now, to explain. The loop impedance will be measured of the whole system, of the whole uh, phase to uh, PEN conductor. And we are measuring at the same time partial current through uh, only one cable connected to the same bus bar. Um, without the clamps, the partial resistances of particular cable is impossible. So this is a great advantage, a great uh, feature of this instrument. Let's do the measurement. We will move with the instrument out of the side of the switchboard. To measure partial connections, again we go to Delta R300 and start the measurement. From the result here, we see the total impedance is 21 milliohms, and the selective, uh, so one third of the cable, uh, because of one cable is uh, connected uh, together with another two, um, the selective resistance of one impedance is 64 milliohms. From this result, we can see that approximately uh, one third of the current flows through one conductor. So here you can see the total current for testing was 123 amps and the current through the clamp was uh, approximately one third of the, uh, it was 40 amps, 41 amp, uh, amps through this particular um, line conductor. Um, from this result, we would say such a connection uh, or such a uh, result is good. So we presume that all three conductors are uh, equally connected to the uh, phase. So now I will move to the second phase. Just a moment to make a reconnection. <clears throat> I repeat the testing after reconnection. Now, this result is showing us a bad uh, contact on the phase three. So this must be repaired very soon, otherwise other cables uh, can go overheated and um, it's a good example of which you cannot see really on the on the classic way but uh, with uh, this uh, method you can uh, see partial uh, resistances of one particular wire let me show you again with on the switchboard so our clamps are connected around only this one so this contact here is in a bad condition this must be repaired 